Hi, I'm Lisa with Lisa Boone Designs. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm so excited that you're watching this video. I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you like thrift flips and how-to tutorials on using DIY paint, milk paint, decoupaging, and Iron Orchid design products. I'm a retailer of all of those products and I'm excited to share some information that you might find useful or even entertaining. This video is a part of a collab with Roy Cycled retailers showing different decoupaging techniques. Be sure to go ahead and watch all of the videos in this playlist. And it would be great if you would go ahead and subscribe to all of the channels. We have so many talented retailers for decoupage papers and you can learn something from every single person. We're using different products, different techniques. Is if you would share your projects with us, we would love to hear from you. Please like this video, like all the videos in this playlist and comment below and let us know what your favorite part was, what you learned, what you didn't know, what you would like to try. Let us know all the things. I used scraps from that project to do today's video. I love saving scraps. Scraps are gold. You can definitely use all of the decoupage scraps in future projects. You could have the same paper, the same IOD stamps, but we would all come out with something totally different and unique. And that's what I love about these products and doing home decor crafts. Whether you're selling or you're doing it just for yourself, you can have a lot of fun using these products. DIY paint is a clay based paint and it's pretty thick and I like to use water with it but I also like to use water with DIY paints dark and decrepit. This is how I choose to stain my wood. I no longer use Minwax or anything with chemicals. I use DIY paints dark and decrepit. Here I mixed about 50-50 dark and decrepit and old and gray to create a custom look and I just used my artist brush. Then in the center, I went ahead and I used DIY Paints Crinoline. It's a creamy white color and I ended up doing two full coats of it. And I did the dark and decrepit behind it because I had intended to distress it a little bit and I wanted to distress back to the quote unquote stained wood. But I ended up not doing that. I just did a solid coat. Then I took a baby wipe and I cleaned up any edges because it's water soluble, it is easy to clean up. Then I took my IOD typesetting stamp and a thin mount and I went ahead and I laid out my letters. Here I decided to use the word cottage. So I'm showing how I lined it up. I used the grid lines to be able to redo my letters so that it's somewhat straight, but I like it a little bit jagged too, so I don't get hung up on it. If you have any questions about decoupaging, about DIY paint, please be sure to list them below. I also use Iron Orchid Design stamps and ink in this video. Once I've positioned my stamps exactly where I want them, I grabbed my IOD ink pad. I'm using the black ink and I'm just going ahead and applying it. I'm not pressing down too hard. I'm just getting a good amount of ink on there and I use the grid line to go ahead and center it. Then I hold it with one hand. You don't want to shift it. You want to commit and then just uh, use pressure with my hand very slightly to get the impression. And then, because in this word I have cottage has two T's, I go ahead and I take my T and I re-ink it and I position it and I press it down to make my impression. And just make sure that you lift straight up. Next, I take my DIY Paints Liquid Patina and I take one of my scraps from the Roy Cycled Toile decoupage paper. I take my saran wrap and I just iron it with my hand, just smoothing it out. I don't like to use my fingers because your fingers can actually rip the paper. I have several tutorials on decoupaging and you can check them out. I have a playlist just for decoupaging. Then I take my liquid patina and I go ahead and I seal in my paper. If I see any bubbles, I try to work them out with my wet brush and just force them out. And then I make sure that I get all of my edges. 
The excess paper on the sides, once it's dried, I will cut off with a blade. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can receive the notification when I upload a new video. I try really hard to upload a video at least once a week. The hutch in back of me will be coming soon. To seal my entire piece, I use the same DIY paint liquid patina over the entire thing, including the frame. It has a little bit of a top coat and it's perfect for wall art. Now on to my second project. I took a white cabinet door and I painted one coat of DIY paints crinoline over it. And once it dried, then I took scraps of the vintage wallpaper, decoupage paper by Roy Cycled, and I did the wet cut to take out the pieces that I wanted to use on my sign, giving me more scraps to use for a future project. You just wet your brush and, and create a line, and then you can tear it, which is a perfect raggedy edge to be able to blend into your paint. And so I figure out exactly where I want it and I use my DIY paint liquid patina to apply my decoupage paper. Again, smoothing it out with my saran wrap. It's a little bit tricky um, going into the inset of the frame. And so what I did was I used my brush to really get it in there. And I even tore it a little bit because my brush is wet. So I applied some pressure so that I could get it to bend the way that I wanted to. And then I ended up taking part of it off and laying it back down so that I could have the look that I was going for. I took a couple other scraps and I applied my paper on the other side using the same technique. Then I took the IOD typesetting, this time I took the uppercase letters and I spelled out home using my IOD ink. I went ahead and I inked it and I used my grid to line it up right in the center. One hand down and then the other hand rubs over the letters, making sure that I get a really good impression. And then you can sneak a peek if you want to, but make sure that you hold it down really firm. Then lift straight up. And I apologize that it's backwards, I forgot to flip my camera. To remove the excess, I just take a sanding sponge and I sand it away from the frame or the cabinet door and I get a nice crisp clean edge that way. And then when I go to seal it, I always make sure that I get a good amount of sealer or DIY paints clear patina in this case and I go over the entire project. Now whenever you decoupage and you seal it, your paper will wrinkle up but it will lay back down. Now I decided for this one to use DIY paints big top for the final coat. It gives it a shinier satin finish and I thought it would look really good with this paper. But you could have left it just with the liquid patina. Here's my finished projects. I love how they coordinate with my cottage core table. Be sure to watch that video. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate all of the support, your likes, your comments, your shares. If you have a friend that is interested in this and they are not subscribed or they're not on YouTube, go ahead and share it with them and let them know about this playlist because I'm sure that they will gain some valuable information. Go ahead and 
Let me know what you thought about these small projects and I can't wait to hear from you. I'll be uploading another video on Sunday.